everyone welcome back to my channel Raja cooks I know I said in the previous video I will be showing you how to make the buttercream and the cream but I did not leave my house it is under lockdown it is not the in and I didn't get a chance to go to the shops and I actually don't want to go to the shops now so I've just thought okay let me just make what is here and I'm going to make a chicken curry today for you. I hope you're going to enjoy this video like I am and I'll be moving the camera around to show you my ingredients are all ready. And I'll just be placing this back here. Oh, it clear no means I'm still learning. I hope this is right. Is that angle right? Yeah. Okay, on with the stove. I almost thought I, um, I ran out of gas. <laughs> okay, so let me start. I'm just going to let this get nice and warm first. And here's my ingredients. I've got my oil. I've got my stick cinnamon and cardamom and all that. But as I go along, I'll tell you exactly what is in all these little bowls. Né? Just waiting for this to get nice and warm. So I've put my heat liquor high here and I'm going to throw in my oil and I'm just going to cover the base of my pot and a curry, a nice curry, always ask for some liquor oil, need the mini, not too little. Okay, now I've got two cardamom pods in here and two stick cinnamons and van dai can you guys see liquor cheese here okay and then i've got two onions here that i've chopped up finely and i'm gonna chuck this in no why is this taking so long to eat up oh well I'm just going to wait for that to sizzle. Yo guys, this morning I was like, just uh, everything just took so long to, to prepare. I always go with this, I'm um, saying nothing ever happens the same way twice. When I did the cupcakes, it was quick, quick, lick a cheese. But this morning I was just, everything just took longer. But anyway, yeah, I'm ready for you. There the onions are going. Got a porch here, a trinky plate that I put here for my lipo. This a good friend of mine bought me and made especially on your sense Haja. <laughs> Shukranta's name. Okay, and while that is going, got a teaspoon of crushed chilies here. I usually use um, fresh chilies, but as I said, I haven't been to the shop, so I'm just making use of what is in the cupboards. And in that goes. I'm going to let this go for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so my onions have gone here for five minutes and here I've got, so this was about eight cherry tomatoes. You can take two whole ones if you have that at home, but I like this one because the flavor is so much more richer. And sweet and look at that color mm. and now I'll add my garlic as I said I haven't been to the shop and don't plan on going to the shop anytime soon so I ran out of ginger so I'm only using the 
garlic today and this is a tablespoon of fresh garlic that I have peeled and grated. And I will be adding some salt now already. So half a teaspoon and I'll add later again. And this I'm going to cook down. For a little while. Another 10 minutes give or take just come and check every time and then I put the lid on and I'll put a small little water in like a tablespoon every time until everything has incorporated okay as I said I'll come and check in between the cooking time of the 10 minutes and just throwing as they say just a a bitchy, a smudgy, a small little water so it doesn't burn me. Okay, so my oil and onions and garlic and tomato and all spices have been cooking for 10 minutes. With a little bit of water in between and now I'm going to throw in my turmeric. I'm throwing a teaspoon, a nice heap full. My roasted masala. There you go. Heaped two heap teaspoons. Let's do another one. <laughs> so that's three teaspoons of roasted masala and this is some red leaf masala. And I'll throw three deep teaspoons of that as well. And my other masala is a little cumin, so half a teaspoon. Gonna go and cook down a bit. A little water. Oh, the smells coming from this pot is absolutely divine. Another little. just for two minutes okay so I've moved the camera so if you can just see this beautiful color that this curry base have formed now I'll throw in my chicken And that is just mixed pieces that I had in the freezer. I'll just move in and show you. And this I'm going to let cook down. For a few minutes five minutes and i'll be back okay so the chicken have been cooking now for about five minutes and i just threw in a quarter cup of water and now i'm going to throw in just like a just a touch of sugar like not even a half a teaspoon there we go and this is some um, pure butter that I'm putting in 
just a knob just adds to the richness of it and look at this color really oh this is so so gorgeous and now we are adding my potatoes I've peeled it and cut it in half because my husband likes big potatoes in the curry and here's one cup of warm water that I've got from my kettle but I don't alter the temperature too much remember I just threw in half a teaspoon of salt so now I'll throw in the other salt and it's all too tasty so I'm gonna just add another drizzle and I will be tasting the food just now as I always do just to see if it needs anything else and this I'm going to let it cook down for 10 minutes or until the potato is soft just check in between guys and have some warm water ready to just throw in a little if it's a bit if it dried up too much but this is gonna go now for a while and then I'll be right back guys I just came to check on my pot quickly no it's going liquor I like what I see I like what I smell it is just oh lovely lovely stuff okay I'm back and I have lowered my heat now to low to just so in between low and medium me and it's just simmering the curry it's just simmering away and my potato soft and now I'll add my freshly chopped coriander dania and there you go guys liquor chicken curry I am happy how it came out and this you can have with rice or a roti or bread with butter and a little sly with a sambal or acha or beetroot whatever you like I'm gonna taste it now see if it needs anything mmm Yum, <laughs> really nice. <laughs> Guys, I'm of those people that I love to cook and I love to bake, but I also like to eat what I cook and I like to eat what I bake. So um, I'm glad you watched this video, what I've made for you. I'm so excited that with my last video, I couldn't believe all the, the views and the subscribers. I'm so, so thankful and grateful. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.